In this video, we are going to demonstrate how 3D scanning is used in the development of prosthetic devices. Traditionally, to build a prosthetic device or brace, a physician would take a cast off of the patient and then that would be used to develop the brace or prosthetic device and those typically were made by hand. Nowadays, with 3D scanning becoming so easy and affordable, now many medical facilities employ that to capture the patient's specific anatomy. So as you see here, we're using the Peel 3 3D scanner and we can quickly scan a patient. We don't need any targets and it will scan in complete color. It's very easy uh, to use. You don't have to be a computer or technical expert or engineer. You simply push the button to start, start scanning and you just slowly move around the patient until you get whatever uh, area of the body you're trying to capture. Now, the only challenge with 3D scanning uh, when you're scanning patients is usually their hair. Hair is very translucent, it's very thin, so it's very difficult to scan it. The scanner usually just doesn't pick it up or only picks up a little bit of it. So one of the things uh, the uh, uh, physicians will use is like a, a head sock uh, or a hair net, uh, a tight fitting one that fits the shape of the head. So if you needed to develop a prosthetic device for somewhere on their cranium, you would simply just put this uh, head sock on and you can then easily scan uh, the patient's head. Also, people have put like talc powder in their hair. Uh, that will also work, um, but we find the head sock like you see here works pretty well. Another application that this can be used for is in the entertainment industry, uh, specifically in costuming. Uh, we have done a lot of work with companies that will develop, you know, very specialized costumes uh, for a particular uh, person. And this is another great way to do it by 3D scanning uh, the person's anatomy, then they can build a very custom uh, costume uh, uh, for them. So that's just kind of another uh, application that this can be used for. Now, the most popular part of the anatomy to 3D scan is usually limbs, uh, some portion of the uh, arm or hand or leg or foot, uh, things like that. So what we're showing here is the key is just to come up with a fixture or a way to keep that hand or limb uh, from moving while you're doing the 3D scanning because what you don't want is it to be moving around because that'll cause the scan data to not look very good and not be very accurate uh, if the patient's anatomy is moving around. So let's go ahead and walk through the entire process. So you see here we're scanning a, a leg uh, and this would be to design a brace. So once again we've come up with a quick fixture to keep the leg uh, from moving around and then we just go around and capture the uh, the uh, anatomy of the person uh, in this fixture we can kind of get all the way around uh, the leg and the foot without them moving and only have a small area where we don't have scan data uh, down by the heel so we just move around and get the whole leg scanned okay so once we have uh, the uh, limb in this case a leg uh, 3d scanned the next step is we have to clean up that scan data so we have to remove that post uh, where the uh, uh, you know where we held the the foot up and then we need to go in and kind of clean up all of the 3d scan data uh, now there's many different mesh editing tools you can use to clean up the scan data you can even use many of the scanners like the peel 3 3d scanner have some pretty nice software tools to be able to go in uh, delete clean up do some basic smoothing hole filling and kind of prepare uh, the uh, the model now, once that is done, now you're going to need to go into some more specific software for designing either the brace or the prosthetic. And in this case, we're going to use Geomagic Freeform. It is a very powerful digital sculpting tool uh, that will allow you to go in and do lots of different things. Now, we're doing a time lapse here, obviously, because, you know, it, it does take some time. But probably within about 30 minutes or so, we can actually uh, develop a brace that will be multiple pieces um, so that it can be put in place and then, uh, you know, some uh, tape can be put around it and uh, held together. But the 
the other thing that's great about freeform is we can reposition uh, the leg, uh, the limb, in this case, the leg. So if we didn't have the patient in the ideal uh, fixtured setup as far as uh, how we want to design the brace, we can go in and manipulate that anatomy. We don't have to go back and scan the uh, the person. So we can kind of move the uh, the joint, so to speak, and get the uh, the person's leg in the right orientation so that when we design the brace, you know, it's it's uh, will work well when they're actually trying to walk on their leg or or at least uh, keep it immobile. So the freeform product is very powerful because it's a digital sculpting tool. It has an actual uh, little pen that has haptic feedback that you hold in your hand and it's like sculpting with clay and you can adjust the uh, hardness of the clay from soft to hard and you have all kinds of tools to smooth and cut and offset uh, and shell and do all types of things. This software is used a lot for not only this type of stuff, which is scanning uh, a patient's anatomy, their exterior anatomy, and doing things like prosthetics um, or uh, braces, but it's also used where they import uh, CT scan data and do like cranial implants. So now you're working on the uh, skeletal system of somebody and let's say they had an, uh, a, a fractured skull or they were born with part of their skull missing, they can actually take that CT scan data, which is the bone data, and go in and design a perfectly fitting implant. So this software is used a ton in the medical industry for cranial implants, any maxial facial stuff, TMJ, uh, you know, hip uh, replacements, uh, knee knee implants, uh, and it's also very big in the dental industry as well. So, and once we have the uh, brace uh, designed, we'll split it up so that it can be put on and off. And then from there, it's going to get 3D printed. And nowadays, there's so many different 3D printing technologies and materials, uh, you know, from a very firm, rigid material to something that maybe is semi-flexible. And the beauty of 3D printing is obviously it, it's pretty much lights out. You will just take the, the, the in this case, the brace file and uh, send it to the printer and it'll 3D print it and away it goes. 3D printing also allows you to design the brace in a way that, you know, you can have uh, almost like an exoskeleton. You can have lots of holes in it for venting. You can get very creative in the 3D printing process uh, because you don't have to worry about limitations of, you know, injection molding or CNC machining or things like that. So the combination of a 3D scanner uh, and uh, the software like uh, Geomagic Freeform and a 3D printer really opens up a lot of doors. Uh, you know, years ago, this stuff was all complicated and very expensive and only, you know, the most maybe um, uh, large hospitals or large uh, doctor practices could do this. And now it's being done by very small companies or very small practices where they can go in and do this. And the, the scanning part of it is not that difficult. The free form definitely takes a little bit of work to understand and do it. But once, you know, once you do that, or that might be something you outsource, you can go ahead and get that brace or prosthetic design and then go straight to a 3D printer. And usually within a matter of hours or days, you can have a, a brace or a prosthetic ready for somebody to use. So just to wrap up, here's the final design of the brace. You can see it's a three-piece design. We've got some venting on the back of it. And so what we did was we used a Peel 3 3D scanner to scan the patient's leg. Then we went into Geomagic Freeform. We changed the, uh, uh, the uh, position of the leg. And then we designed this brace. And then finally, typically, you would 3D print this in the 3D printer and material of your choice. So if you'd like to learn more about this entire process, more about the Peel 3 or other 3D scanners, uh, or information on the Geomagic Freeform software, or anything related to 3D scanning for prosthetics, braces, implants, and so forth, you can reach out to EMS by giving us a call at 877-845-2700, 
or you can send us an email at info at ems3d.com.